I'm really thoroughly happy. Another autobiography. Another. This one is the end of the second part. <laughs> Most of my hardships came while I was young and growing up. And in the last days, when normally people suffer from old age and sickness, my happiness came. You say in the book in 1968, you tried to take your own life. Right. That time when I tried to commit suicide, my life was really down. Mm. That was the Ike and Tina days. Ike was crooked from day one to day two to the end of one day. Everything he did was conniving and, and I was different. I thought the wedding, I, I was fairy taleish. I thought, you know, you would, someone would ask you to marry and you would wear the white dress and, uh, and this was my wedding. A piece of paper pushed across and we signed. And after that, we went to a brothel and watched sex. It was really, that's even hard to really think about. I did try to leave a couple of times that wasn't written in the books. And the first time was when I had the experience of being whipped with a wire hanger. And then another time was something else. Uh, and I realized, well, you don't go back. The experience is once you leave, don't go back. Phil Spector, as we now know, is a fairly strange character. But what could he do for you as a producer? What, what, what Tina Turner did you find? He wanted me to sing, not deliver. I kept me singing more of a gospel way. When I was a little girl, I had a rag doll. The melody of that song was, when I was a little girl. And when that, dum, 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 I chill now. I mean, it was, it was another feeling to sing to that. When I was over there, you know, really to sing into that, da -da -da -da. all of, I saw exactly what Phil was, was producing. You became a Swiss citizen, relinquishing your American citizenship. My attitude about being there is I had lived there the first 50 years of my life and now I'm moving to another country. Um, part of that was because of my relationship with Irvin. Part of that was I was always treated a little bit different in those other countries than in America. Because in America, a black singer, R&B singer, is always a black singer, R&B singer. That is what I was in America. And why I felt so comfortable leaving America was because everyone treated me not as a black person. They treated me just as a as a star. I mean, you're 79 next month. You've had, you've had your stroke, you've had cancer, and you've had a, a kidney failure and a kidney replacement. And th they say to, they say to Irvin, you can live with one kidney. So Irvin thought, no, Irvin said to the doctors, can I give her one of mine? And then he found out that he doesn't need two kidneys. So then he came to me and said, Tina, you don't have to make this decision now. I, I can give you one of my kidneys. Death is not a problem for me. I don't, don't really mind leaving. Right. I know a lot of people don't think that way, but I'm happy that I do because it's something that is inevitable. There is a tragic end to the book, Tina. It's an addition, and it tells the awful story, really, of your, of your son's suicide. Yes. Uh, it's very hard to talk about. Now, when I listen back to our last conversations, I notice a change in, he's a hi, dear. And I said, oh, nobody calls that mother dear, you know, whenever he called me. And the last few times we talked, he talked, the conversation was different. And I didn't know that until after the suicide. Let's end more cheerfully, Tina. You're supposed to be retired. I am. Well, you're kind, of, you're kind of not, are you? Because you've got the, the, you've got a, the hit musical in the West End, oh. which is on its way to Broadway. You have this book. What else do you have planned? You know what I'm proud of? Yes, go on. That at this age, there's still something happening with a career. My music doesn't sound old style. There's a, mu a musical that's a hit. So aside of being really tired of talking about myself, I'm really proud of what my future as a star became. I feel proud that I hold that in my hand. One, two, three.
One, two. Now move. One, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> the two, your second foot. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> well, count. I can't count. You know. Let's do this again. Okay. <laughs>